my business. Hi, I'm Andrea. And I'm Delaney. Welcome. The month of December is an exciting and magical time for all of us. It is also a very busy time of the year as we are making special preparations for the Christmas holiday. But have you ever stopped and wondered what is going on at the North Pole this time of the year? And what it exactly is Santa doing to prepare for the busiest night of the year? Wonder no longer. CSN has been granted exclusive insight to the, into the hustle and bustle taking place at the North Pole, and some of it may surprise you. It takes a lot of work to help Santa prepare for Christmas, so the residents at the North Pole remain very busy throughout the entire year. However, when it comes to the month of December, elves, reindeer, and even Santa himself take time off to celebrate. Kimmy and Claire have more on the story. Kimmy and Claire? Oh yes, Andreas, we certainly do. St. Nicholas Day is celebrated across the nation every 6th of December, and as you could possibly guess, Santa Claus is a big fan of St. Nick, and even though Santa himself is unable to spend much time at the North Pole during the month of Christmas, he's not absent from every event taking place in his honor. Kinley and I met with some of Santa's staff officials to ask what exactly is taking place at the North Pole this December. This is what they had to say. Oh my goodness, did you hear that bullet, Sid? He got the and people are even talking about quarantine, too. Did you hear that the toy machine is malfunctioning in the toy shop? And some people might not even get their Christmas presents. Did you hear the Grinch baby making a comeback? <gasps> people, people themselves are so mischievous sometimes. <laughs> it certainly sounds like the North Pole is bustling with activity this time of year. I'm sure they're having a lot of fun and I certainly hope everyone stays healthy this holiday season. This is Claire Bailey and this is Kim LaHaye reporting, reporting from the North Pole. Back to you at the studio. The reindeer team saw a shakeup in point leaders and it's a whole new ballgame. Today Comet, Vixen, and Dasher all fell out of top three on the leaderboard. Following events at yesterday games now source that Vixen, Donner, and Cuban have moved up the leaderboard and moved into top three spot. However, that could all change in a twinkle of an eye. We are hearing about a young new reindeer who is taking the pole by surprise. Reindeer Trixie may be small, but she's not letting that slow her down. Aaliyah is on location and has more on the report. At just two years old, Trixie is making her mark in reindeer game history, and it had some reindeer's tails ruffled, quite ruffled. The odds of reindeers this age taking the win went from extremely remote to extremely possible. Little Trixie only trails fourth place by half a point, and this had several reindeers up in a hood. Blitzen was unavailable for comment, but our sources tell us that he is requesting a recount. A few reindeer game spectators have hinted a full play, by, but Santa himself says that there is no cheating taking place and little Trixie has earned her spot on the leaderboard. This is Aaliyah Carter with CSN News. Back to you. We are just learning what appears to be the North Pole official team of doctors leaving Santa's workshop a short time ago. A word crowd has gathered outside and nobody is allowed to enter. The Reindeer Department of Health reports that Rudolph has what appears to be a cold, but they are not taking any chances and have placed all the reindeer in quarantine until test results come back clear. CSN has, is sending our special reporter out to investigate. This is a developing story and we will keep you updated. The speediness of Santa's new sleigh is prompting an unusual warning about your Christmas stocking this year. 
Nautical Flight Command tells us that Phantom's flight is light years ahead of what it was in the past. In fact, it is so fast, flight analysts warn that Santa can make his appearance much earlier for Christmas this year. Elf Crash Murray from North Call Radio has advised kids to hang their stockings early this year because Santa's sleigh is so fast. Kinley and Claire were able to talk to Elf Crash Murray and has more to tell us. You've probably heard of the North Pole Radio News, and if you're like me, you like to listen to them for Santa's location updates every Christmas Eve. Claire and I were granted an exclusive telephone interview with their radio of Crash Murray, and he tells us that Santa's flight is going to be fast. It could be here before dark. However, Flight Director Alfred assures us that although Santa could make it before dark, he wouldn't do it because he would not want to disrupt family Christmas celebration or many kids either, but bed earlier. Director Alfred suggested for people to think about Santa's new sleigh capabilities. A little differently, an example he gave was that if something were to cause a delay in Santa's delivery, Santa would be able to catch up much faster than before, so everyone can relax. The real reason for the speedier sleigh is that it is for Santa to stay on schedule for his Christmas deliveries. I am on scene at Santa's workshop where just a minute ago we were informed that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was seen by the North Pole top medical team and the entire workshop was placed in quarantine. We have just been updated by the Reindeer Department of Health regarding this, this, this situation. It appears Rudolph's symptoms were simply what we've all experienced this time of year, just a cold. Santa's workshop has been released from quarantine. It's been reported that Mrs. Claus has made him a big steaming bowl of forbs and seeds, stew, and it seems that Santa's workshop has resumed business as usual. This is special reporter Aaliyah Carter with CSN News. Back to you at the studio. This brings us this brings us to the end of this of the special session special broadcast. I'm Andreas Gonzalez with CSN News. And I'm Delaney Hendricks. We hope you all have a wonderful winter break and a Merry Christmas. We will see you again next time.